What's up guys? So today I want to do a bit of a uh, kind of a motor review. My friend Josh, who flies for the race flight flight one team, sent me <clears throat> these motors. This is the new Brother Hobby R6 line of motors in this really dope looking uh, kind of metallic chromish color which looks fantastic on a, on a quad. So this is a 2205 um, 1750 kV uh, is what he sent here, as well as a 2207 um, 1750 kV as well. There we are. So and this does look fantastic. I've already got it on a set on two quads um, to test out, but Let's get uh, a couple of initial impressions here just on the motor. Um, you've got obviously a screw here for to take uh, the bell on and off, which is fantastic over uh, a C clip. Um, however, one thing I don't really am not really a fan of is the 16 by 19 mounting pattern they've got on this 2207. And funny enough, the 2205 is 16 by 16 which nowadays uh, all of, if not most of the frames out there are 16 by 16 by 16 mounting. Um, so yeah, that's, that's one bummer about this one, but <clears throat> anyway, looks great. Obviously uh, new line of R6 motors. Uh, if they perform anything like, you know, the R3, R4 and R5 line, I uh, expect good things here. Let's get, uh, so let's get some weights on uh, these bad boys. So we'll start with the lighter, smaller um, 2205 motor here. All right, well, hopefully that stays on. Okay, so we're looking 25 and a half grams more or less. And this is with the wire cut to um, four and one ESC length. So for a five inch frame. So if you were to use individual ESCs, you're looking at about a gram and a half less. So it's pretty impressive. You're, um, you know, you're looking here at a 24 gram motor essentially, or 20, 23, yeah, about a 23 gram motor. So um, that's super impressive for a 2205 size motor uh, that hopefully performs uh, up to par. And let's take a look at the 2207. Looking at about 31 and a half uh, grams. Um, again, take about one and a half off, or almost two. So you're looking at a 30 gram motor here, 24 grams for this. So. They are one of the lightest motors uh, on the market um, in their class, in their size class, which is fantastic. Um, it's only part of the story, doesn't say it all, but one of the main things that I like to look for when, when I pick a motor is not so much how much power it can put out or how efficient it can be or the weight, but really is tunability. And by, what I mean by that is if you've got a pretty noisy motor that's got noisy bearings or maybe out of balance from the factory it's gonna be uh, you're gonna have a much harder time tuning your quad um, <clears throat> and you're gonna have to increase the filtering on the quad it's not gonna fly as well you're not gonna have that nice crisp response or as smooth of a flight now brother hobby has always been I think one of the best motors in making a, a smooth reliable motor so I've always been a huge fan of them because of that I don't expect anything to change in this new motor uh, if anything probably even better so hopefully that stays true um, and yeah because like I've said I've had quads that fly perfect on a set of motors and I'll put on a new set of motors that are a different brand or something and all of a sudden I've got oscillations, I can't, you know, my motors are getting really hot and I haven't done anything except put on a different set of motors. And uh, so it's it's really important. I've always been a huge fan of the Brother Hobby because of that. 
and uh, hopefully they do perform uh, like that as well. So we'll take a look. All right, guys. So out in the flying field, and I've got the two quads here. 2205 motors ready to rock. 2207. So start out with this one. I've already test flown it. Uh, both of them. Make sure they are they are flying. Rocking some uh, V1S 5x4.5 uh, by 3 blades. Both the same. I am not comparing these against each other because obviously it's a completely different class. But rather just get a general overview of how they feel, how they fly. Uh, you know, I'm starting them out, both of them, on pretty aggressive tunes. What I would consider my most aggressive tune. Uh, so very low filtering. Uh, as high as I can run um, my PIDs uh, to get the most control out of them, mainly for racing. Um, I'm not going to do just racing stuff. I'm gonna, I'll try to come up with some lines. I don't have a track or a gate set up or anything. I'll just try to, you know, there's pretty, some, some pretty good trees and canopies and stuff that I maybe do try to get in a little bit of freestyle too and see how they feel for that. You know, the response, the throttle, resolution, um, all that good stuff. So we'll start out with this squad. All right, so there we are, ready to roll. Um, let's see, get my DVR going. Again, sorry, no HD footage on this one. These are my race rigs, so I don't have an HD camera on them, but let's take a look how they feel anyways. So initially, plenty of pop, oh yeah. Wow, so nimble with these motors. And they accelerate, well, they spool up quick enough to where they, uh, they just feel like it changes direction so quick. So quickly, so it's, it's really nice to uh, just kind of play around with the throttle like that. Yeah, it feels really, really nice. Plenty of speed for a 2205 motor. Yeah, they have some pretty good get up and go. I mean, for this size and... They certainly uh, do feel really nice. I mean, just the way this thing changes direction. Oh. Lost my bearings there for a bit. Oh, fantastic. I love it already. Really enjoying this now. Bring it in and put on the uh, 2207s. All right. All right. So before I just finished the flight, as you saw, before I go to the to fly the 2207 motors, I just want to show you this. I mean, these motors are—they're not ice cold, but they are not even warm. And like I said, this is pretty. Uh, aggressive filtering um, it's pretty much as, as aggressive as I've ever, I've ever run and they honestly have room to go without a doubt that is what I mentioned before um, something that I look for in motors besides just power and weight and efficiency it's being able to get a good tune out of them and I mean can't even hear them I mean it's just spinning and they're just so smooth it's unbelievable that Anyways, 2207 next. All right, guys, got the 22, 2207 quad up there, ready to go. So let's, uh, let me hit the DVR. All right, and uh, let's get going. Oh man, they, uh, 
Yeah, this definitely got more power than those, but. Holy. <laughs> it's almost like it's got no bottom end because it just goes straight to the top end. It's unbelievable the power these things have. Definitely can tell the, you know, the weight difference. I can't, don't really feel like I can throw the quad around as easy. Uh, shoot, I said I, I know I said I wouldn't be comparing them to each other, but just can't help it. But yeah, the power, I mean, it's unbelievable. Woo! Screams. oscillation I think but nothing to do with the motor just I only did a very brief uh, test flight at home so and I was definitely not pushing like this so yeah you can tell man these are ballistic and they feel pretty uh well i don't know how they're, they'll come in but feel super smooth on the throttle resolution um i would say i do fly the 2306 a lot so i would say compared to that these definitely kind of skip over that bottom end um just it, fe it just feels like it it just spools up and just keeps going it's unbelievable Yeah, these things just go. I uh, better come in. Sweet! Love it. Well, I want to get a, a look. And that was pretty hard flying. Yeah, again, I mean, I can, I can hold this like it's warm but it's yeah these are fantastic motors you, same thing you can't even hear them spin that's how smooth they are i love these plus look how cool they look it's pretty uh pretty nice looking anyways yeah hope uh you like that found any sort of um information on it or i hope you find it informative i should say um had fun doing it and again thanks to my friend josh for sending these over i will use a link put it in the description where you can buy these uh he's got a good price on them so i will use his amazon link uh support him and thanks for you know watching and i uh, hope you enjoy till next time